Former Liberation War soldiers claimed that under the late Robert Mugabe's leadership, they were now experiencing greater levels of poverty. Andres Mathabila, the leader of the new war veterans, claims that during Emerson Umingagwa's administration, their well-being declined. Mathabila promised to discuss this matter with President Emerson Umingagwa. Mathabila criticized how the nation's riches was being distributed to a small number of people while the sacrifices made during Zimbabwe's liberation struggle were being disregarded. When speaking to veteran freedom fighters who had lost their land in the Emigrin estate because it had been partitioned and given to ZANU PF youths, he made these observations. He is quoted by New Zimbabwe as saying, We went to war primarily in order to achieve political and economic liberties. We are no longer appreciated because we are veterans. Our lives have gotten worse. And occasionally you genuinely wonder why you went to war. Only a small number of individuals in our country are benefiting from its wealth. Farms with title documents are something we aspire to. Veterans of war shouldn't reside in colonial era black only villages or other rural communities. Let it be by choice if they choose to remain there. We want every veteran of war to own at least an A2 farm. We intend to speak with Mingagwa about our well-being. Mathabila claimed to have launched an investigation to ascertain the origin of the conflict. A one farmers, including veterans of war, were given wildlife conservancies in the Emigrin estate along the Bulawayo Victoria Falls route in 2001 by the government. Also, these farmers were granted access to common land for small-scale cultivation and livestock grazing. The 140 plots were instead given to the youngsters by Richard Moyle, the ZANU PF province chairperson and minister of state for Matabili Land North, as a result of a disagreement within the ruling party.